Oh yeah, so you got a leaky fitting here. You see that one looks pretty clean. It's actually leaking. Uh, may not, may or may not be leaking there. Hard to say. It's definitely leaking. Yeah, that one. I don't think they put this in right. Thing is, is uh, if you tighten these things up, you're you're opening up a can of worms. Basically, like this one here, it's dripping just a little bit. And then I tried to tighten it up, and it started dripping a lot. So I just shut the water off. <clears throat> so, if you want to get into a can of worms, if you do, make sure you have a water shut off. And you, you can shut the water off. This one here, I'm going to tackle because, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> I thought just maybe half a turn to do it, and then, no, uh, half a turn to make it start to leak a lot more, right? And I actually took it off already and put plumber's tape on it, and that didn't work. So what I did is I got some uh, pipe goop, and we got new washers. So we're going to try and take the old washer out, and then put a new washer in, tape it up real good, see what we, see what we can do. So, be careful, plumbing can be hazardous. We've got tape, washers, and pipe dope. And let's see if we can make it work. Okay, so this is, this is definitely going to be an experiment here. Um, I put pipe thread on here, the Teflon tape on here. When I took it off, it disappeared. It went somewhere. I don't know if it's up in here or not. I can't, hard to see but it just disappeared. I don't know what happened to that tape. Oh, it's on there. It's just kind of ground in that. Um, inside that thread is black because of the, uh, whatever the oxidation uh, kind of thing. And so first thing, we're going to just try it now. Try the washer. So we're going to, rather than take this thing all apart, we're going to go one step at a time. Washer first. Scoop it up. Pipe joint thread compound. Some of these pipe joint compound stuff you have to mix up. This one's kind of I kind of like it because it's got on the brush and everything. We're just gonna goop this up a little bit. Doesn't want to stick to that though. Very well. I'm gonna goop up inside here. Set that there for a second. Yeah, this stuff's gnarly. Yeah, you should probably wear gloves when you're using it. Because it's like, probably pretty toxic. Okay, so there's that. We take this, go up in here. Joint compound. No, this is probably not the best uh, thing to use, but um, might possibly help better than nothing. Okay, so now, take the washer. So you can goop that up some more. Stick that in there. Kind of doubt this is going to work, but it's the first step. It's kind of like the easy fix, right? If there is such a thing. So apparently you have to stuff this washer back up in there. noise sounds to me like a pretty like a pretty fucking uh, corroded joint right there I actually sprayed it down with WD-40 and it still sounded pretty worn out in there I don't think this exterior is gonna help much I'm right, gonna go inside again and this is another video where I sit here and talk to myself, so I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> so, and then we're going to put some on this joint here. So this has actually got Teflon tape on it. And we want to put some near the top, too. And <coughs> give that a try. Hopefully, I'm counting on you. Oatly pipe joint thread compound. 
let's do this okay so here's the deal you don't want to take a vice grip and clamp down on this too hard because you'll smash it and it'll, it'll go out around <clears throat> so ideally you want to take a flat <clears throat> something that's not going to put a lot of pressure on it uh, on the threads this I've actually set out so I do have a vice grip but it's not gripping it's just basically grabbing see I can basically I don't have to open the jaws on this it'll basically do its thing <clears throat> and so it's clamping down slowly but surely now these you never want to over tighten you just have to find that sweet spot so, it's going to be somewhere between hard and light. And some people say you get it down, what, if you can do it hand tight and it's a clean thread, you might be able to make it work, but do it hand tight, maybe put a half a turn on it. What happens is if you, if you go too hard on this, it basically squashes the thread. Okay, so the moment of truth here on this one gonna be either we go to the store and buy a new one of these for about 10 bucks or we try it one more time let's give it a try here turn this water on see what we got oh it's still leaking so in this case I'm gonna put put another good torque on this thing see if I can get it it's leaking pretty good so yeah that's what I say you know you're gonna get into a ball of wax, can of worms, whatever. Now that almost acted like it did it. So let's see what it did in here. I'm gonna turn it on. And that did it. So at this point, it's not leaking, it's on. So I went to where it was. I thought it was tight enough. Now it's leaking a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put one more tweak on it. And that's about it, I think. It's about the best we can do. Now it started to leak again. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's on right now. It's on, so. And it's not leaking. <coughs> oh, there we go, we got a drip coming out the top. Should probably just put two new ones on just because okay it's still on okay i'm gonna put one more fucking tweak on it let's do this ugly okay You know, I'd say it's probably good enough just because it's out here in the, you know, out here in the shed kind of thing where it's like, don't have anything to worry about if it drips a little bit. But the thing is, is that like on this one, it could corrode things. Yeah, so I should have watched them put this thing in. They called me to check it out. They go, oh, can you check this out? And I'm like, well, I think it needs a new valve, but no, I don't have a valve, so... We'll have to put a new one in. So they said, oh, well, we have a regular plumber and we get a discount, so. Oh, there it is leaking. Anyway, they had somebody else put this in and uh, I wasn't watching them. They didn't invite me to watch them, right? Okay, bye, Joe. I think we've got it. So, yeah, this one here, I'm not going to mess with. It's not like. Uh, filling up too fast or anything you see all this corrosion the fluoride and the chlorine and the minerals make this toxic brew right here oh oh there's your anode oh that thing don't look too good yeah i can't remember uh, it must have been several years <laughs> this has never been changed no one ever changed these things you can uh, you can change this thing here either anyway uh, very easily you got to disconnect the whole damn thing right 
Okay, looks pretty crusty, guys. And at least this part here, which is what I originally saw, is not leaking. And so I think we're good. That's all I'm going to do on this one. I might come back next week and tell them, oh, I think it's time for a new one. There should be a date on this, uh, 11, 2011. 2011? That's, that's at least, what, 15 years old, something like that? Oh, that's uh, 11. Yeah. Anyway, too bad. All because what? They never changed it. Ain't probably never flushed this thing. And it's never been flushed. I know that. Um, and when I checked these threads here, it didn't seem to be any dope or pipe thread on it. I mean, uh, Teflon tape on it. So apparently, it may be a practice where they don't put anything on them, but uh, I would tend to put stuff on it just because, I mean, that's brass, right? No, that's copper. And so, yeah, we got water down here. That's not a good sign. Well, I'll come back later. If you know anybody needs a head, a Honda head, uh, I will come back later and check on it and see what, uh, what I need to do. I had to tell the landlord because they're uh, like, oh my god, another bill. I can't afford this. <laughs> and uh, I guess you can't afford to pay me to do it. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys. Great comment and subscribe. If you need any help, you can contact me. 707-443-8347.